This is the time for a guaranteed livable income. A guaranteed income for seniors so they can live with dignity and not have to worry about paying the bills. Basic income. There's been a lot of talk about it this election. The pandemic has shown the immense gaps in our society. We really need all parties in this election and all Canadians to be aware that there are the solutions that exist to change things. You sent a lot of questions to the Ask CBC News inbox about it. So what is it and which parties are promising it? When people talk about basic income, they're usually talking about one of two different approaches to financial security. On the one hand, there's UBI, universal basic income. Which means everyone gets a check for the same amount. But at the end of the year, the government uses the tax system to recoup some of that money from the people who don't need it, people who earned enough. And the one that's received a good deal more attention in Canada is a guaranteed income, a basic income that is income contingent. So it depends how much income you have from other sources. In this system, only people with lower income or no income get a check. But no matter the type, basic or universal, the money is given with no strings attached. The money's available to you if your income's low. It doesn't matter whether you're working or not working. It doesn't matter whether you have a disability or anything else. For decades, governments around the world have tried out basic income in pilot projects and multi-year experiments. It's a sweeping idea, replacing virtually all of Canada's social welfare payments with a simple check. Manitoba ran a trial in the 70s. And in 2017, Ontario tested a pilot project that was later cancelled, even though it showed promising results. The fundamental idea behind basic income, I think, is, is um, solid. Um, what was true in the 1970s is equally true today. Unconditional money available to people allows them to make better decisions about how to live their lives and leads to better outcomes. The new Canada Emergency Response Benefit, which will provide $2,000 a month for up to four months to people who are not getting paid as a result of COVID-19. That Liberal government policy sparked questions like, why not just have benefits like that permanently? One of the things that the CERB showed us was that it actually is possible to offer a responsive benefit um, to people quickly enough that it can actually meet their needs. Um, but the CERB was not a basic income. And the reason it wasn't a basic income is that it was a conditional income. So where does that leave the main parties? Well, they're divided too. Still too many Canadians are falling through the cracks. Before the election, a private member's bill from a Liberal MP made a case for a basic income strategy. But the dissolution of Parliament means that's off the table. The Liberals didn't include basic income in their platform, even though there's strong support for it within the party. Both the NDP and the Greens say they would prioritize a basic income program. The Conservatives have promised to increase disability benefits and the Canada Workers' Benefit, but they don't support basic income, and the Bloc and the People's Party of Canada make no mention of it. What happens next is up to you. The one thing economists do agree on is that something needs to change to help Canada's most vulnerable.